Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you guys exactly how I installed this wig step by step. And I was purchased this wig on wigtypes.com. This is the Catalina wig by Outria, part of their Melted Lace series. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video. All right, so this is the Otre Melted Hairline Series in Catalina in the color DR2 Cinnamon Spice. Um, it's like a redhead color, like an orange redhead. Very autumnish. Okay, and of course it has the stock card, and they always come with this net over it. And these little metal clips to hold this card. Okay. Oh, and it even has these like little rollers to keep the curls, which is pretty neat. It's no plucking required. And this is my second time with this unit. I will. I have this unit in the 613, which is the Platinum Blonde. And I will say I did not have to pluck it. It did look very, very natural. I'm sure this will look the same. It all Here, I'm just giving you guys a close-up of the wig. Um, you can see she is a beautiful wig. This is a gorgeous color. It bounces. Look at that hairline. It is amazing. All right, so here is the construction of the cap. It has a designated side part. Um, it comes with an elastic band to help the hairline or the wig lay flatter on your head. And it has three combs one on either side and then one in the back and the adjustable straps. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this baby. So first things first, you wanna make sure you secure your hair. Um, I just have, in a way, so that your wig is laying nice and flat. So I just have my hair braided going straight back in six braids and we're gonna get our handy dandy wig cap. Uh, wait, first, what I like to do is take a little bit of edge control and just get all my unruly edges. Take a brush and brush that up so everything is nice, smooth, and flat. Now I get my wig cap. And you want to tuck in those hairs. Now I am not doing the bald method. I'm going to show you guys that the bald method is not always necessary. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide it back just ever so slightly. Okay, just like that. Because the wig, the ball cap method takes forever, and everyone doesn't always have all that time to do the ball ball wig cap method. Now I've come to realize it is not necessary unless you have a wig that you intend to do multiple styles or multiple parting spaces. Now, if you are like me, and whatever style you put the wig on is whatever style it's gonna stay in, then you do not need the ball wig cap method. I promise you, it will look just fine. So but sometimes your wig might slide back. So to prevent my wig from sliding back, what I like to do is use the freeze blast spray and hit the border of my wig. And once it dries, this thing isn't going anywhere until you're ready for it to come off. Um, a question that I got was, does the freeze blast spray break my hair off? And I've never experienced that. You just want to use um, some alcohol. This is the only alcohol I have left in a cotton pad, cotton swab, whatever you have. And just clean up around your hairline. 
this is just to ensure that there is nothing there that will prevent your wig from sticking down. I like to put my wig on just to see for placement, just to see how it looks. I just brush her out a little bit. I have not cut the lace off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and you just wanna see where you're at. And this is what she looks like. Fresh on my head, no customization. Look at that hairline, I mean, like really look at that hairline that's insane that is a pretty hairline now this wig is a little the lace is a little ashy so we're gonna do something about that but i just kind of wanted to see what i was working with prior to putting down my gel or glue or whatever it is that you use. What I like to do is so that you don't put too much, I put um, a little bit on the back of my hand, take one of my concealer brushes, you can use whatever brush you want and just kind of, just a little bit on the back of my hand so that it's not too much. And then we are gonna go into and then we're just gonna go into the lace you see that lightly just so our lace isn't ashy see just like so You want to be careful not to apply too much product, just a little bit. That's why you want to put it on the back of your hand so that you can kind of get off the excess. And put this back on to see what we're working with now. Okay. That is a little bit better. But we can always add more once we finish applying the wig. Okay, so this is what I use to adhere my wigs. Um, you can use whatever you like. I personally do not like to wear my wigs for more than maybe a few days at a time maximum. Honestly, I don't even like to sleep in my wigs. So I like to use something that I it can easily be taken off. But if I don't want to take it off, it'll still stay on. The got to be glued, I mean, everyone uses it. If you wear wigs, you know about it by now. And if you don't, um, got to be glued is just a hair gel that you can use to apply your wigs and it'll help it stay down. All right, so first things first, I already cleaned off the perimeter of my hairline with a little bit of alcohol. And I'm just going to take about that much and I just use my finger. You can use your finger or, mm, not sure. So the thing I like about the got to be glue versus regular lace wig, lace glue is that you can, I actually just put it into my hair as well. Like if it goes into your hair, nothing will happen. Some people say that they've experienced like breakage or wonder if you'll get breakage. I've never had it. I even use it in my hair when I need to put slick my hair up in a ponytail or in a bun rather. I use that on my, like all over my hair, just like as a regular hair gel. And I've never experienced any breakage. Now, if you go out a little bit further than you like, that's not, or further than the lace, that's not a problem because it's water soluble. Like all you have to do is it off so I like to put not too thick but like that and down the edges because you want to make sure your tabs stay down and 
Okay. Once everything is smoothed out, um, you can apply multiple layers. So what you could do, depending on if you want your wig to stay longer using the got to be glued, you can apply multiple layers um, once it gets tacky. So you would let this um, dry down a bit. What you want to do is just kind of brush all of the hair back. And then get it out the way. And make sure that the elastic band is in the back. this upwards and then adjust the strap or pull the strap down I should say now the strap is down I'm gonna get something just to get the hair out of the way momentarily and then you want to go ahead and pull it down to wherever you would like it. Make sure you pull your tabs down. And I'll go ahead and put it back down. Take a brush and just get all those hairs out of the way so you can see. I like to just put this behind my ear. Now you want to take your scarf or whatever, I just use a piece of ribbon. Tie it around. All right, so you just want to give that about 10 minutes and let it set and then we're going to come back take it off and cut off the lace all right so it's been a little bit it's been 10 minutes and we're going to go ahead and remove this Okay, so now we're gonna go in and cut off the lace. So I like to cut it in three sections. First. Like so. And sometimes the gel will seep down slightly but it's, you can just peel it and it'll come right up. So try not to cut it in a zigzag line. To get as close as possible, what I like to do is peel it back. So you're gonna put your scissors and peel it back and that way you'll get 
Like, I don't know if that makes sense. So you're gonna pull it back and then just kind of, please don't cut yourself. You guys can see it. So you're gonna pull it back on to where it's at the skin and then just cut. And don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So I'm just, it's kind of long, so I'm just going to cut off a little bit. There we go. So it's easier to lay your wig in sections for areas that didn't, oh, I call this raggedy. Get that out the way. And now you're gonna hit it with the freeze blast. Just. I don't know if y'all can hear my husband in the background screaming, but he's downstairs watching the game and Christ, like. So you just want to let that get tacky. Just use your rat tail comb and you're just gonna go in and press that down. And right here, sometimes I just want to go in and lay the baby hairs while the got to be freeze blast is down. Once it gets really tacky, like that. Is there, is there a piece of lace? Oh, I forgot. A piece of lace. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to let that finish drying. And then we're gonna move over to the side. Look at that hairline though. You can also cut this into another section just to make it easier for you. 
once again pull it up and then just try to be careful not to cut off your baby hairs unless that's what you want there we go look at that bam if you have like clips use the clips to like get the hair out the way um i don't know where any of mine are Now, if you're not a fan of like sideburns, then you can cut it off. I'm just gonna cut a little piece off because I don't want it too long, but I do love me a good old sideburn. Please don't cut yourself. Okay, just checking. All right, now just like we did on the other side, we're just gonna hit it with some freeze blast spray. And don't worry, we're gonna fix all of this up here. Now, I just like to pull, like, cause this is the side that the part is on. So, you know, you wanna be able to like, put your hair behind your ear a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So you could get a little spicy. You know, when you're getting a little spicy, can you be like, you know, so you wanna pull down. <laughs> So you want to pull down on right here. You'd be like, excuse me, what was that? Et. I didn't get that. Okay. I'm too much. All right. So. Like I said, just hold on this taut, taut. Yeah. While that's drying. Now, you can do the same method with um, whatever glue you use if you intend to keep wear this wig for a long period of time. But I personally don't like to wear my wigs too long anyway, um, simply because I like to change them out. And, you know, and then I have work wigs and then, you know, wigs I wear everywhere else. Okay. Now you could essentially leave this side looking like this, or you can go ahead and do a little bit of baby hairs, but let's go ahead and fix this top situation where it's, it's down for the most part, but it just has a little bit of hair sticking up. So same thing, freeze blast spray. What I will do first is take out a little bit of baby hairs. For me, it's gonna be my baby hairs over here. Okay. 
So I took out more than the baby hairs, I guess. These are kind of long, but we're gonna cut them, so don't panic. As before. Small bursts, you don't want to have it too wet, I guess. And once again, you just want to hold the hairs down taut. And then this way you can like push these back a little bit, you know. All right, so now you wanna just go back in with your band. Just let it dry a little bit more. And then once we take this off, then we're gonna cut this and do some baby hairs, okay? Okay, so we're back again. And let's get rid of this. Okay, so this is a little stuck to my forehead, but that's okay. So now to cut it to your desired length, and I'm just gonna wing it. And cut that. And that's what we're left with. Ow. Take. I have a little bit of alcohol on this. I'm just gonna wipe that a little bit. I'm not touching the lace, just the hair that's stuck on my face. Okay, we might need to hit that with a little bit more. Spray with, <laughs> feeling a little spicy, you know, when I like. Mm. I don't know how I forgot to, oh, it's in my eye, it's in my eye. Okay, you know what? This hair is pissing me off, okay? And this layer is to lay the baby hairs. And then I promise we're like, we're almost done. We're, trust the process, okay? Just trust the process. I promise we're almost finished. Now, 
baby hairs aren't a requirement, but I like them. But I'm really not the best at them, like, you know, like I like to do it, but I don't think I'm that good at it. And I don't like them to be too perfect either. And then over here. Let me just brush that back. And then like so like that. <laughs> As Tabitha Brown would say, like so like that. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Some hair in my eye. All right, baby. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Like, like. Like I said, when you feeling a little spicy, it's like, I'm sorry. What was that? I didn't catch that. All right. All right. So you could leave it like this, okay? But right here just has like the slightest hump. Just. Why am I using this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, like I said, you could leave it like this, but this has like the slightest hump because this wig is safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just take my flat iron and just press that down a little bit. Just to Flatten it out. Let's apply a little bit of pressure. Careful not to burn it. Now my this curling iron doesn't have like degrees on it. It just has little this little you know clicky thing. This is old school. I've had this curling iron for a long time, and it just I have it on the highest setting. Just apply the flat iron, just smooth it out a little bit. Now this step isn't necessary, it's just something I wanna do. Okay, I think that's as good as that's gonna get. And on the part, we are going to add a little bit of my powder foundation just on a skinny brush and just Just to make that part stand out just a little bit more. Actually, you know what? I think I want my part to go like more of a curved type of situation. Yeah, that's more my style.
don't burn yourself. So nervous, so nervous. Ugh. And then just a little bit more foundation or powder just so that curve can be evident. Bam! And there you have it. Let me just go ahead and apply my face and I will be back. All right, so you guys just watched me install this wig and as far as my review of this wig, would I buy this wig again? Yes. Does this wig shed? Yes, a little bit or a lot, a little bit, you know? So after I brushed the wig, this is what came out and I did not pluck it. So it's not from me plucking the wig um, and tangling uh, a little bit, not enough, but I haven't worn the wig that long, but it's still not enough to where I'm like so annoyed. <clears throat> but if I had an occasion, if I'm looking for a wig for long-term wear, this is not the wig. I would not get this wig for long-term wear. But if you have a photo shoot or a special event or something like that, that you want a bomb ass hairstyle for for one night or for a couple nights, because you can wear this wig uh, over and over again. The, but this is not something that I would recommend sleeping in every night and expecting it to last as long as a human hair wig would last. So... Would I buy the wig again? Like I said, yes, I would definitely buy this wig again. Not for long term, but for not for a good while, but for right now, you know, because um, I mean, like you can you can see this is a beautiful wig. It's it's a beautiful wig. It's fit, like if you have a photo shoot and you don't know what to do with your hair, baby, get into it. Okay, this wig is gorgeous. Just beautiful. All right, so I really hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.